one of the things I felt when I was growing up, because I was hungry to see people like you on television and people, you know, people who look like us in, in theater and the arts, I was really hoping that it would be a home, you know? Well, that's what it was supposed to be. I know. It was a, a, a thing for us to, to, to exhibit our talents and for us mm -hmm. to, to work at our talents. But can and a theater and company and ever really be that, though? Can a theater company ever really be a home? Because even Soul Pepper or you name it, Stratford, you name it, like, it's hard for companies to become a home for artists. It's just hard. Not necessarily a home for, mm -hmm. but a place where people can do their stuff. And actors, you don't necessarily want to make a mint right, yeah. to get out there to do that stuff. Yeah, I know. You know, guest artist contract, all that kind of stuff could mm -hmm. be done. Yeah. You know, uh, and sharing it. I remember I once, um, something, Phil had something to do. I said, oh man, I, I did mask when I was at theater school. I did a whole thing mm -hmm. with, 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 uh, with Jacques Lecoq and so on. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're, you're ready, I'm always offering something. Nobody, mm -hmm. don't, don't call me for anything. So and I you know, don't understand it. Well, this is a good question, I even, I even used to say, listen, if you want me to come and put stamps on mm -hmm. envelopes and so on. And go. Mm -hmm. well, this is a good question. I mean, this is a challenge that a lot of actors face. Like when, even though you're good, even though you're talented, and you've got a lot of experience, there are times when the phone doesn't ring. What do you do? Uh, other things in life tend to get me down more. You see, okay, <laughs> let me give you this episode mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. My father passed away in 1981. Okay. Six months after the last time I saw him, when he told me he had a will, mm -hmm. this, that, and the other, he went on and on. When he passed away in 1981, went to the funeral and everything. Just before that, Mm -hmm. I went out to the Tarragon, um, uh, what's his name, at the Tarragon. They had a place way out from, from the father, Har Massey Harris estate out there. We went out there, mm -hmm. and I invited her out with me. This mm -hmm. is the woman he was with. Okay. I was supposed to go down to help him and his lands and whatnot and so on. Mm -hmm. But she told me something curious, was, um, but don't call him until next weekend. I, I always call him, mm -hmm. if anything I would call him. So I'm, well, then word came that he died. Mm -hmm. He was alone and his body was in very bad condition, it was decomposed. Then you go down, then you hear, he used to play poker. Mm -hmm. The year before that he made something like $250,000. Hmm. Sky's oh. the limit poker, he was a hell of a poker player. Really? Obviously. Oh yeah, he used oh, to think okay. I should pay, play too because I heard I played in King of Kings. He hmm. knew that. No, but I watched, I watched them. Hmm. I was there, I used to go to that. One guy they thought was a gun runner. He went away and came back, he told me Mr. Best was a gentleman. He's the only reason mm -hmm. he came back to pay his debts in St. Vincent. Hmm. They figured he was either with the British Secret Aid se Service or something. Anyway, hmm. it so turns out they begin to give me the run around about what my father has and his property and whatnot because I was supposed to come up immediately, cut it, uh, everything off, and go back to run his estate and do hmm. whatever it was. Then we went through a whole long battle. Mm -hmm. And that's the stuff that gets you down. I was, yes, mm -hmm. I was divested of any interest in not one cent. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, I had to use all my RSBs, sell my own, because I was winning mm -hmm. in the St. Vincent Court, I won in the West Indies Court of Appeal, mm -hmm. and then one of the lawyers I had mm -hmm. insisted that he would get somebody for me. Mm -hmm. Turns out he was working on the other side. Okay. This guy pled in the Privy Council in England, mm -hmm. nothing on nothing we won on in St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And they allowed them to introduce stuff that the, op the other people put in there which should not be allowed in there. Right, way. right. So it turns out I had to pay cost. Right. 500 and something thousand dollars. Oh. Because I had to pay PV Council and cost for their lawyer, my lawyer. Hmm. Half a million dollars. That's not fair. And that was a lot of years fighting that. Mm -hmm. And you won? No. Mm -hmm. Fine, but Privy Council left it up to the 
government of St. Vincent, mm -hmm. who by this time she had endeared to her. Right, okay. So give me resuscitation. It, it should have been forfeited. Right. Because if she, as she claimed, they were married, it was a bigamous marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's the, to me, like, it's true. The stuff that happens in life is oftentimes more oh, upsetting yeah. than stuff that happens it's in It's stranger in than theater. fiction, as they say. And sometimes, actually, what can pick me up is working with really interesting people. And I want to talk to you more about the people you've worked with, like Cicely Tyson. You worked oh, with yeah, her? she was sweet. What now, was that's a, somebody who was, I was warned, uh, she's a bitch. Yeah. Know what? That's what I've heard. I've heard rumors that she's just really hard to get along with. Listen, man, I got on the set, and mm -hmm. of course, I'm early and I'm checking around what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something called Jewel, mm -hmm. set in the 30s. And then I heard, hello, and she called my character name, and then she called me by name. Mm -hmm. So I turned on just the energy juice and so on, a little shit back. And then uh, things got bogged down. She invited me to her Winnebago. Okay. Took me up in her limo. Oh. From there on, she was sweet. Now really? she had fights with Fair Fawcett <laughs> because really? if she yes, they were on the set. Well, you know, they were, they were equals. Mm -hmm. But Fawcett would, would lay around. They had this thing about who got there first and who was waiting. So really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I would imagine that Fair Fawcett would leave people waiting. That's my yes. guess. Yes. And, and okay. if Cecily gets there and Fair is, she's going back up, drive me back up. Oh my gosh. One thing Cicely Tyson told me, you know, mm -hmm. he says, um, from the day Miles Davis died, her husband Miles Davis died, she got into a cab, she had started hearing his music. Mm -hmm. She'd go into stores and malls and everything, she'd hear his music. Mm -hmm. When he was alive, they mm -hmm. didn't play it. Right. Right. She also had a West Indian background. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. One, one of her cousins are from Barbados or something like that was up there with mm -hmm. her too. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, Montserrat or Antigua, one of those Northern Islands also was a thing. Mm -hmm. Talking about Caribbean, the one of the things I did was uh, 10,000 black men named George. Yeah, I remember that. Mario Van Peebles mm -hmm. played a guy who was a West Indian from Antigua. Okay. He was a mover and shaking this thing back in the twenties. Right, right. He gets on the set the first day and so he's boy, good accent, right? Okay, <laughs> really. So he had it, really. Yes, but oh. they cut it out. They Why? No, well. <laughs> Why did they? Cut? Did they, they tell him to stop doing it? Yes, they didn't want the West Indian. <laughs> That is anti-West Indianite. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And I was surprised. I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. But and he was a little thing. And he um, did his research then, obviously. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the role I played was a composite two two guys put together. Mm -hmm. I got to work with Brock Peters. Brock Peters was nice. He well, who's Brock he Peters? Hmm? Tell me about Brock Peters. Oh, he played me great compliments. You mm -hmm. know, oh, you're such a good actor and this and that. So right. Okay. But he was very nice. He was, uh, of course, he was getting on in age too. But he was, he'd stop by and chat and whatnot. You mm -hmm. know, very nice man.